brought to you by GTA. We start with you. This morning, President Trump moving to pull the U.S. out of the World Health Organization amid the COVID-19 pandemic. It will be uh, significant for us. So, um... The Sinai Hospital's chief executive officer, Esther Munoz, says the ripple effect washes over the Marianas. It's, um, you know, that's uh, sad news for us here because, um, you know, uh, especially because of the, the, the closeness of, of, you know, the proximity of assistance. When there's a need for help, we pick up the phone with WHO. They come here within, you know, within, you know, how many hours. It's very quick because they know how critical uh, response is. And they were here. Munya, who is also the president of the Pacific Islands Health Officers Association, says that it was just last year that Micronesia got a direct seat at the Western Pacific Region Office's national meeting. The WHO also instrumental in increasing access to supplies for the COVID-19 response. Um, through their collaboration, um, that allowed us to get more testing uh, kits and supplies for, for us to do here. Lieutenant Governor Arnold Palacios echoes the concern. This is going to have to figure out where to fill in the gaps uh, if this thing just goes through next year and it, it doesn't get uh, rescinded. But... Uh, we're where we're at now, and we need to take a look at what the implications are. Tomas Manglotnia for KUAM News on Saipan. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.